Hey, hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Holly Golightly, and this is Perfume Vegas. I am here. I'm filming two videos today, the first of which is a Lush haul. So if you want to see the goodies that I picked up from Lush, just stay tuned. So if you remember... If you followed me back in January of 2020, you may have seen my previous Lush haul, my Boxing Day Lush haul, and you, oh my God, I almost knocked the camera over. You might have remembered that I say I only shop at Lush twice a year, on Boxing Day to pick up the sale stuff, and at Halloween to pick up the Lord of Misrule bath bombs. You guys... I'm heartbroken because I didn't have a chance to get into the stores before, like during the time that the um, Halloween stuff had first been put out. It was, they weren't open until like here they weren't open until like mid October, and I didn't order online. I had four Lord of Misrule bath bombs in my cart. But I was waiting to order because I wanted to pick up a couple of things first. And I was like, well, I have until the end of the month. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then when I went to order them, gone. They were out. They're sold out. So my partner went to the Lush store that's closest to us. And they told him they're sold out. It's all the stores. Done. So I was pretty heartbroken. I do have a good stash of Lord of Misrule bath bombs from last year, but I was still really upset about it. They're like, just look on eBay. And I'm like, I don't want to pay extra on eBay, but whatever, I'm getting over it. So what I did get, the Lord of Misrule perfumes were sold out as well, like the spray perfumes. So people must have really been desperate. Like they really realized at the last minute. What I did get is the Lord of Misrule. This is the solid perfume. I'm trying not to knock my camera over. So this is the solid perfume. Looks like that. It smells heavenly. This isn't a fragrance that I would really choose to wear out in public. So... For me, having the solid perfume is just as good as having a spray perfume because this is a comforting type of scent for me. I use this, you know, when I really need to pamper myself, when I really want to feel good. And I've been putting this on at night before bed. And it just smells so good. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of solid perfumes, um, but these ones from, um, from Lush are really good. They have uh, six grams of product in them. So, and for $15, that's a real, um, a really nice amount of product. And they really smell good. Like they really linger on the skin. They're definitely a skin scent, but they linger. And since I'm just using it at bedtime, it's what I'm looking for. So, I'm really glad that I did pick up this solid perfume, even though I was devastated I couldn't get any of the bath bombs. But I did pick up some other bath bombs because the holiday collection was already available online. And I got this one because I've seen this before or similar items like this before, and I've always missed out. This is the Holly Go Lightly Wonder Ball. It's three in one. And I had to have it because it's my name. I have the original, one of the original Holly Go Lightly uh, bath bombs that I just saved. Um, and this one, if I don't pick up another one, I'll probably just do the same with that. Because I have this weird thing about my name. I've talked about it before. Um, I like things with my name on it. So, um, yeah, this one um, is a, it's a honkin'. It's a chunkin'. It's three in one. Uh, 275 grams and it was like 12 bucks I think but for three I think it's worth it I don't know what they are or what they do I haven't opened this but if you're interested in getting your bang for your buck 
check out the Holly Golightly Wonder Ball. I'll give you bang for your buck. <laughs> That's what she said. The next bath bomb I got is actually a bath. It has a sticker, but it, it dropped. It is a, a bubble bar. It's the Kinky Boots bubble bar. Um, this one is so cute, first of all. It, it lost its boots. Okay, well, he normally has little boots attached, but they fell off in there. It smells like soap, though. I really need to use this because it is stinking up my entire bedroom and it smells exactly just like regular bath soap, like regular body soap. Um, not a smell that I want to have overflowing in the bedroom. It is actually slightly headache inducing. So kinky boots, super cute, even though it's broken. It was, it was whole when it arrived. It's my own fault. I probably sat on it or something. Um, kinky boots, not a scent I would recommend, but definitely cute. And then one of my favorites that I've repurchased multiple times is the little Icklebot lavender scented one. It's in a plastic bag because for some reason they sent it just loose in the box. I'm, I'm not sure what's up with Lush's shipping, um, but this guy is a favorite. Um, it smells just like fresh herbal lavender. It's very relaxing. Uh, sometimes I like to smell it, even if I'm not going to use it in the bath. So yeah, the baby Icklebot, I think is what that's called. And then the last thing that I picked up from Lush for my second time of the year haul <laughs> order um, was a tub of the Ultra Bland face wash from Lush, from Lush, obviously. Um, honestly, I really like this product. I could honestly get by with using only Ultra Bland and Dark Angels for my facial cleansers. I probably wouldn't ever need to purchase anything other than those two if I could ever bring myself to buy them in a bigger sizes than these little tiny pots. I also go in and get samples of them because, 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 because they're expensive, man. Like, come on, Lush. I like your products, but man, some of them are pricey. Um, anyway, that was it. That's my mini Lush seasonal haul for holiday. No Lord of Misrule products, unfortunately, due to them being sold out. I probably will try to look and see if I can pick up any on Mercari or eBay. I've seen a couple on Mercari, but it's like, ugh, they charge shipping and all this extra stuff. And I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how desperate I get. If I can get to, um, Boxing Day, usually some of the Boxing Day or the the holiday gifts have a Lord of Misrule fragrance in them, so we'll see. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little itty bitty Lush haul. My massive Lush haul will come in January, and if you like seeing Lush products hauled, keep your eyes peeled for that one. And you can always go back and watch my previous one if you weren't a subscriber or weren't around back then. Um, I do talk a lot about my Lush buying habits in that video. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, give the notification bell the ding -a -ling, -a ling so that you get notified when I upload because in November, um, I probably am not going to be uploading very much or very regularly. It's just a busy, stressful month for me. Um, so yeah, you'll make, to make sure that you catch the uploads that I do, make, hit that, make sure you hit the bell. <laughs> okay. I can't talk either. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.